Hey, this is Joe. I just picked up a Vivor strut spring compressor. I'm in the process of replacing my coilover and rear shocks on my VW GTI. So let's take a peek at this uh, this uh, strut spring compressor. It looks pretty beefy. There was a little bit of assembly required, but it was pretty easy to put together. Uh, there is a st really strong a red base here and at the very bottom there were some uh, angle iron legs that we bolted on. Then we came up there's a, a hydraulic jack with a foot pump. Uh, the long column base has adjustment holes on there. There is a fixed uh, sliding block at the bottom that the hydraulic jack connects to. And then through the various holes, there is a top sliding block. And you can then position your coilover shocks in between the two mounting points. They provide you with two clamps for the, the shock springs. I presently have the small clamps on. They also give you a set of larger clamp springs. So if you have something like a, a, a truck uh, or a larger vehicle that has beefier springs, you can uh, install the uh, larger clamps. What I really like about this is it has a safety chain on here. So when you mount the struts in between the clamps, and that's with the springs installed, then you can run that chain around the, uh, the spring. And then what you can do is you can use hydraulic pressure by stepping on the uh, hydraulic ram pump and you can then compress the springs uh, in between the two clamps. So it's a bit safer than the Widowmaker ones they sell on Amazon for around $50. I paid about $120 for this and I didn't want to buy the Widowmaker and run the risk of uh, having a spring fly off and uh, take my head off. So I purchased some ECS tuning front coilovers and rear shocks and springs. So on the front coilovers we're going to uh, put these in the uh, spring compressor and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the top strut plates and we're going to uh, compress the springs and then we're going to tighten the, uh, the strut uh, plates onto the top of the coilovers. So let's see how easy it is to use this uh, spring compressor. Here's a trick I learned in, in using this spring compressor with coilovers. What you want to do is before you put the spring and strut into the spring compressor, you want to turn the lower portion of the shock, which is the preload setting. You want to turn this all the way open so you can reduce the preload on the spring so you can rotate the spring freely. That way when you compress the spring down to put the cap on and tighten the cap, then when you reduce the pressure on the spring with the spring compressor, you want that spring when it's fully expanded to be loose. That way you can remove the spring clamps and the chain without them getting caught in the in the uh, the compressed or partially compressed spring with the preload run up. So always back your preload off all the way to where you can turn the spring by hand. Otherwise you may have trouble uh, pulling out the clamps from the uh, from the spring on the strip after you put the cap on. So I learned this by uh, trial and error. So just a tip for you. We've adjusted the top sliding block down uh, and then what we've done is we've had to hold the spring and the shock in between the clamps, put the strut cap on top and we had to then screw the nut on top of the shock plate. And that is how we have to hold the shock and spring assembly into the spring compressor. 
I've taken the chain and wrapped it a couple times around the spring and the shock. What we can do now is start applying some pressure uh, and pumping the hydraulic jack to try to compress the springs down. We don't have to go very far, but just enough in order to seat that top uh, shock plate. So let's do a little pumping on that, see how it works. We now have enough clearance between the uh, bottom of the shock strut and the top that we can push up and we can now tighten the nut on the top. So let's go ahead and do that. I repositioned the upper sliding block a little higher so I can get a, a more compression on the spring. And now I can really get the top plate all the way down. Again, it would be really nice if they had a uh, support right here to support the shock up so you don't have to manually lift this shock. But I was able to get it to a point to where the top clamp will fully seat. Now all we have to do is tighten the nut and you hold that with a special socket and an Allen wrench and you can tighten the nut onto this top plate. So I'll go get that uh, socket and then we can now tighten down that plate. To get to 60 Newton meters we need a bit beefier of a breaker bar and a little extension to hold on to the Allen wrench. Now let's go ahead. In my particular case, the uh, top shock mounts have to be torqued to 60 Newton meters. So we have the top shock mount torqued to 60 Newton meters. Now that we have the top plate torqued, we can now decompress the spring and there's a little uh, lower foot pedal on the uh, strut compressor. All you have to do is uh, press on that. I'll go over and do that now. Now that the strut is decompressed, we can remove the strut and we can do the other shock and then that will be it for compressing my coilovers. So hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.